Greetings, greetings, and welcome, Dharma Wayfarers. I'm delighted to uh, be with you this week as uh, Gil is taking a, a break, a vacation, and um, I greet you warmly, actually coolly this morning. It hasn't become hot yet in California. Um, I'm in Mountain View, California, uh, with a virtual background of IMC, and I figured since it's virtual, then might as well say hello again this week to Patachara and sit with the beautiful, beautiful Patachara this week. Um, so, so here we are, lovely to be with you, and I'm delighted to be spending this this week with the sangha, practicing together. So. So for the theme um, of our exploration, of our practice for this week, the theme I would like to invite us to explore and practice with is the theme of um, feeling tone, uh, translated often as feeling tone, even though feeling tone is not a good translation. I like the Pali word, which is Vedana, V E. D-A-N-A, -A, Vedana, which again, often translated as feeling tone or, or hedonic tone. It, there is a similar concept, not exactly the same, but similar concept in psychology, hedonic tone or valence. And my invitation for this week as we explore this, this valence hedonic tone um, is, is for us to explore it as if with um, beginner's mind, beginner's mind. And whether you are a new practitioner, and this, is a, this will be a new concept for you to explore, or whether you're an experienced practitioner and you've practiced with Vedana before, all of us, I'm looking forward to us exploring new aspects, new dimensions of Vedana. So just to say a couple of words about it before we get into the practice together. Um, so Vedana, um, feeling tone, um, simply is a one of the building blocks of experience. Um, and it shows up on many different lists, many different teachings. And, just to share with you personally, it's been a major part of my practice of working with Vedana and noticing, observing Vedana, being aware of the feeling tone. Um, and as I'll say more, it, it can really be perceived or thought to be a linchpin, linchpin of suffering or linchpin of uh, experience, how experience unfolds really and how we get caught and suffer get attached, push, or pull. And simply what it can be experienced as, it really seems is, is described simply as noticing um, any experience, any object that arises in experience, any object, object of sight, sound, sensations, objects of thought, any object that arises in experience the mind perceives it with Vedana. Okay, so what's Vedana? The mind perceives it with either a sense of pleasant, unpleasant, neither pleasant nor unpleasant. So every object in the experience, in our experience that's perceived, that's touched by consciousness, that's that meets, that's met by consciousness, always is perceived by, as either pleasant, unpleasant, or since I don't want to say neither pleasant nor unpleasant, I'll just say neutral, but the poly is neither pleasant nor unpleasant. So by noticing actually that, that aspect that of our experience, there's so much that can unfold. And, and we'll explore together this week how many things we can notice. But today, the invitation 
is as we settle with the breath and the body, as always, settling, settling. Later, I will invite you, if you wish, to start noticing, to, to open up to noticing, ah, this experience, this bird song that's arising right now, for example, outside my window. Hmm, pleasant, okay? Just noticing, because usually we don't notice these things, and then there are many more things to notice about that. And just to say, don't force or push it. Many of the experience might just be neutral, and in which case, neutral, neither pleasant nor unpleasant. So this will be an opening exploration today, this opening to this together. So with that, I would like to invite you to please get into your meditation posture. Ah, whatever might be comfortable for you in this moment in time, if you need to lie down, or if you need to adjust yourself perhaps in your seat, as I realize I need to, ah, so that I can sit up more straight. <clears throat> Allowing the base of my body, my sit bones, my bottom, ah, to land to really land and hug the chair, the cushion. And from the stable, wide base, inviting, inviting the spine Ah, to rise up, greet, greet the day as a vertebrae by vertebrae. And allowing the spine to be straight as if there is a magnet on top of our head, invisible magnet, ever so gently, ah, pulling up the back of our head. Mm. So it's effortless, we don't have to do anything. Ah, it's pulled up gently on its own. And then the rest of our body, our neck, our shoulders, our arms, our hands, All of our muscles can relax, can drop, can deeply drop. And allowing our abdomen ah, to relax, to soften. Receiving the breath, receiving the breath. Noticing the abdomen. And the lower abdomen, the sit bones, gently noticing how the breath is received. And with each exhalation, ah, landing more deeply. Into our sit bones. And at 
addition to the abdomen and the sit bones inviting the chest too to receive the breath. And letting it happen naturally, not so effortful. It's not so much that we are breathing. The breath is breathing us. The body knows how to breathe. So letting the body breathe as it knows. And simply becoming aware. The whole upper body is receiving the breath. Inviting the forehead to soften and relax. The eyes to rest in their socket. And for the jaw, maybe opening the mouth wide for a moment. Ah, <sighs> exhaling and open and closing the mouth. And gently, ah, letting the whole face relax, drop. Inviting the proverbial thinking muscle to relax also. It doesn't need to work so hard. Ah. Mm, relaxing, softening the shoulders and arms and hands once again. Letting their weight drop onto your lap. entire upper body. Soft, relaxed, with every out breath, letting go some more. Now, moving down the sit bones, ah. Landing, arriving again and again in your sitting posture. Inviting the upper legs, the knees, the lower legs and feet. to rest. Settle. Arriving with the two feet, with the entire body, with the out breath in this moment right here. Right now, this moment of being human.
And as we're resting, resting, receiving the breath and the body. One breath at a time. Practicing with the first foundation of mindfulness, the body, the breath. Invite, I invite you to open up, open up your awareness. Just as you're resting, ah, settling in as if you were sitting comfortably in your home, in your chair. And then opening the windows, the doors. see what creatures might show up, not moving from this comfortable seat, sitting relaxed, spacious, and yet with a sense of openness of heart. If nothing shows up, it's okay, you're resting the breath and the body content in each moment. Maybe in a little while, something shows up in the window. Maybe a bird or squirrel kind of shows up in the door of mind or the ear door or the sense door of perception and the body sensations, these different doors of perception. As different objects show up, simply noticing them and noticing if they appear pleasant, unpleasant or Intro, how are they perceived? So not just perceiving, noticing what object shows up, just recognizing, but also noticing the valence, just simply that. No need to analyze why it's showing up. Just noticing, just noticing. And if it's hard to tell for any object, don't worry about it. Let it go, it will become easier over time. Remember to stay relaxed and present in the body. And let these perceptions arise on their own after you've dropped in the inquiry. Don't make it effortful.
And the last moments of this practice time together, the sit. Notice if there are any thoughts arising, maybe thoughts of judgment. Oh, I fell asleep or I was distracted or I don't know what she's talking about, this Veda nothing. You know, if there are judgmental thoughts, notice if there is an unpleasant and unpleasant feeling tone associated with them. If they feel unpleasant, these thoughts, notice that. Not just the thoughts. Or maybe there is a sense of Ah, another sit with Sangha. Hmm, nice. Oh, does that thought, that object of the mind door, does that have a pleasant feeling tone? Notice that. Yeah, it's a little pleasant. Hmm. I'd like to invite you to appreciate that you showed up, that you practiced letting go of attachment to outcome, appreciating your goodness, your inner goodness, your highest intentions for having showed up and having tried to be of benefit to yourself in this life and to be of benefit to all whose lives you touch directly and indirectly, hence all beings everywhere. Thank you all for your practice.